You guys, did you hear what Pastor Cal said to Shaquille? Honey, woo! When I say overstepping your boundaries, baby, Pastor Cal, I never heard you overstep until today. one of season 16 married at first sight if you don't know who i am or you've been under rock pumpkin poo it's your girl carla welcome to the channel all right i don't know what to tell you we still here i feel like anti antoine fisher i'm still here i'm still strong <laughs> y'all this is, I, I, I don't know if it's going in. I don't know if it's going in. Y'all might see me for the next four weeks how this is going. If you, look, if you rock with me every week, a welcome back. I love and adore each and every last one of you. And if you don't mind, please, everyone, if you get anything out of the channel and out of the content, please don't forget to like share comment subscribe hit the bell notification i'm i'm still hitting y'all every week even if married at first sight is not here i'm gonna be hitting you with something once a week sometime two we y'all y'all might even give me three times a week okay it's the summer is coming through and it's a lot going on okay but i just want to ask and and you guys please put it in the comment section were y'all surprised at Shaquille's answer? Were you? I was not surprised, baby. I was not surprised. Baby, when them tears started, I said, oh, shit. <laughs> so Bubbles is sitting there with Shaquille. And she's like, Shaquille, you know, I want to work on this marriage. What you want to do? Okay. So Shaquille goes around the block and he's like, you know, I'm so all alone. He went mid and large when I asked him. Then he was like, alone. I miss you. I hit my note, damn it. I hit it, honey. Uh, Shaquille said he has felt alone he been alone she ain't been showing up to shit he been he been doing this thing called marriage by himself he's sick of the shit he can't go another step further with her ass he can't go no further but he want to be further with her but he can't go no further okay so Shaquille says chuck up the deuces honey he said I'm out it's a no for me okay Baby, let me just say this. I have never, in all these years I have been watching this show, I have never heard Pastor Cal a juicy face, 27 piece quick weave wearing hair weave killer looking ass girl say, oh, I'm, I'm at a loss. Oh, he, he said no. He said, no, Pastor Cal. I, she's a beautiful woman. I, I don't know what he's thinking. But y'all will kill me. Pastor Cal said. I can't believe he just did that. I don't see him getting anything better than her. Come again? What, 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 what you say? Who says he wants her? Crap the crush, look at the ass. Who says he wants her? He might not want boo boo. So the couples are moving out, okay? They show um, Aries, Airhead Ass, and um, Jasmine. Jasmine still believes that she was a good ass woman in the marriage. That that's what she believed. I I don't know. I don't know. 
it must be some cut, some stuff on the cutting room floor that we didn't see. Because what I saw was a needy ass woman wanting validation. That's what I saw. That's my opinion. My opinion is that baby girl needed validation all the time and she wanted sex all the time. Eric, when the hell you start caring about the damn dog Duchess? When did you get so invested with the dog and not invested with your wife? When, when that happened? Huh? When did it happen? Because you're more invested with this little bitch than you are with her man, with her man be. I don't understand that. He, he talking about some. So is it cool if I come get Duchess? Did he ask to come get the dog? Like they like they share custody? Did he ask to come get that damn dog? Let me tell you what Aries did. Aries did an old player ass move. Let me tell you. Jasmine's so naive. It's going over her head, but damn it, I caught it. Aries asked Jasmine, can he come see Duchess the dog sometime, right? Jasmine said, oh, that would be nice. Bitch, you got to think. Oh, play a move. He ain't coming to see the dog. Bitch, he coming to try you. He ain't coming to see that ugly ass dog. He coming to see if he can slide in and slide back out. Okay, you better get your magnums up. Okay, he coming. He, he 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 trying to see how far you will let him into your house, into your life. And as long as you leave that door cracked, he gonna keep trying to open it and walk through that damn door. Girl, you got to be more careful. Gina, give up that damn dog. Gina has no time for the dog. This is how Gina asked. Clint to wash the dog. Here it go. Gina says, okay, because they're all packing up. They're all moving out their, their, you know, respective apartments. Gina says, hey, I'm going out of town. Um, next week, I'm going out of town. Um, if you want to keep Hank, um, he's all yours. What do you mean if I want to? Bitch, ask me properly. Can you wash the dog while I go out of town? Okay, and, and my answer would have been, hell no, nah. you ain't call me a clown on this damn show, you ain't call me goofy and shit, on the show, you steady throwing names at my character, but you need somebody to watch your damn dog. Mm. Shaquille, and, um, Shaquille is moving out, right? Kirsten said, F you and them tears. I'm not going to be on camera showing y'all moving my shit out that I really didn't bring. Y'all can tell Kirsten didn't bring much. <laughs> Kirsten, Kirsten didn't bring shit but her body wash. <laughs> Kirsten didn't move the hell out off camera. He he packing up boxes. He got real G. He got, he got like three, four U-Haul boxes. He packing up. He got uh, uh, damn hoodies and stuff. He packing up. She gone. She gone. She ain't chucked the producers in her middle finger. She is gone. And then Shaquille like, um, you know, I, I, I just wish that things would have been different. No, you don't. You made your choice. You made, you made your choice. So he's packing up and everything and his friends on the phone talking to his friend is like, you know, is Kirsten packing up too? He was like, no, man, she packed up earlier. You know, sound like she packed up when his ass wasn't even at home. He was going to get the U-Haul boxes and she dipped on that ass. Now, this is what I don't understand. This is what I don't understand. Why the hell, the, the, why, 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 why are you so hurt, Kirsten? Do we really care that McKinley ass is looking at this expensive ass house he can't afford? Because I don't. So this part I laugh though. Kirsten is talking to her friend, y'all. And she don't even care nothing about the camera. She was like, girl. So, yeah, he said no, girl. And crying and shit. <laughs> Shaquille up there crying and shit. I mean, real tears to myself. Oh, no, no, I I wanted someone to be with me 24-7, night and day. Shout out to Al B. Shore. I wanted someone to love me for me. And uh, 
You just weren't there, Kirsten. You just weren't nurturing. She said, he up there crying and shit. I'm the one supposed to be crying. I played myself. Okay, when my ass should have walked up and said I'm out and I'm done, I sat there and endured his ass telling me what I wasn't. But I didn't tell him about his ragged ass bow ties and that punk ass plant that's probably dead. Y'all, what happened to the plant they picked out? She says, um, you know what? From now on, I am just going to focus on my health and my wealth and um because business is booming. Bitch, where? Where are you selling homes, Martha Stewart? What? Where's your home living guy? What? Where? Where? I want to see you walk through a home. I saw you on FaceTime with McKinley. That's all the hell I saw. I want to see you showing some square footage around this mug. Now, Kirsten, stop lying. Now, David, I ain't had enough. Now, you, you I ain't had enough. Seriously. She over there crying. Talking about, you know what? Um, I just, I just hate that I'm going to be alone. Well, y'all, let me say this. When we, women, when y'all say y'all hate being alone, in my head, it, it, it resounds not ready, not ready, not ready for a relationship, not ready for a, a marriage. If you cannot be alone and love the company that you are keeping for yourself, baby, baby, this ain't what you want. Marriage and relationship is not what you want. I love. I love sleeping by myself. I love, there's nothing better than having a bed to yourself. There is nothing better than going to the movies by yourself. Damn it, it's cheaper, okay? <clears throat> going to the grocery store and you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta be like, what, what this person want? How much? Call them on the phone. You said you want iced tea lemonade or you want the, the half and half. Which one do you? This girl is sitting up here. She ain't went from, I just miss sleeping with him. I think I need, yeah, I need a husband. You need a husband. How you go from, you miss boyfriend. What happened to the boyfriend? I, Kirsten, please go be alone and go play safely in traffic on everything I love. Gina, I just want to say something. Stop throwing rocks and hiding your hands. This girl told her friend on the phone, I'm just saying, I just, I couldn't do it. I couldn't say yes because Clint is a class clown and I don't find an ounce of attraction for him. Well, what you think he found in you with them big ass board shorts that came up past your navel? What did he thought? What, what, what did you think he saw in you flat back? Huh? Bookshelf body? But what do you think he... Uh, I'm saying, the girl constantly throwing stones. But the best thing on you is your damn nails. Stop it. Stop Stop it right now. I'm tired. Um, she gonna make me go there with her. Y'all know I can go in. I can go in and let go. Now, y'all listen. Was it me? Or did Jasmine auntie look like she can make a mean pot roast, baby? Jasmine auntie look like she can fry the hell out of some chicken wings, honey. Jasmine auntie came looking like straight up 90s. Looked like she was, looked like she was about the burger bounce. <laughs> Jasmine auntie looked like she was, she was about the burger down, like she was about the cabbage patch. She was about to cabbage patch her ass <laughs> to the damn store, honey. She had on that, that long ponytail wig, honey, and them glasses and that, that hat with all them colors, girl. Child. Baby, I was like, look at her, honey. But she talking about some Jasmine. What happened? What, what happened? Jasmine. So you got to move back home, huh? I said, Jasmine ain't got her own shit. I got a problem. Jasmine, your auntie said you had to come back home. I'm hoping and praying and pushing, okay? That home mean go back to your own home. You too old 
to be having dogs and breeding and all this stuff in your mama house. Okay, Jasmine, I pray to God that you got your own. I know we saw that little shrine, you know, of all your, your you know, academics and your, and your pageantry shit. But was that at your mama house or your house? Because your auntie, ain't it say, ain't it looking like 80 said that she said that you got to come back home. But she felt like Aries was, you know, Aries was solid gold. That's how she felt. She said, I can't believe Aries wasn't ready. She said, no, Aries wasn't ready for, for marriage. He just wasn't ready. She said, so he was playing games. I, I can't believe he was playing games. So then she, Amy said, so you got to unpack all this and, 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 and all that. She said, yeah. She said, that, that bottle of wine. Is that the bottle of wine I gave you? She said, mm -hmm. She said, well, shit, give it back since it ain't working. Not Shaquille. Not Shaquille. Shaquille. Y'all know I was laughing. This fool said he gonna pass time and go to a damn self-defense class to learn Tai Chi, Kwon Do, um, Billy Blanks, uh, Zumba, what the hell ever he was gonna learn. Baby, baby, this is what I got from this. Shaquille, you gonna get your ass toe out the frame. <laughs> Shaquille, that man said, that man said, that man said, let's throw a punch. Shaquille threw them weak ass punches. He was like, hmm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I said, you little top, just windmill. Just just, just windmill on their ass. That's what you need to do. That's what you... Because this, this shit right here going to get your ass. And Kirsten is with Nicole. And they're looking for furniture and all that. Nicole is so happy to keep saying that she's going furniture shopping in her home with her husband. And Kirsten's like, good for you. <laughs> good for you. <laughs> good for you. I'm happy. I'm happy for you guys. Yeah. So Nicole plays therapist because she's been doing it all damn season. So why not end it doing the same thing she's been doing all year? She says, so I heard about everything. How are you feeling? Um, she says, well, you know what? Life after divorce. I said, girl, you ain't even, you ain't signed no papers. You ain't ready to sign them papers. You ain't signed them papers yet. Okay, shout out to Usher. He could show you how it's done, baby. You've been divorced a couple times. And what's crazy is that Shaquille and Kirsten are saying the same thing. The only thing they really miss about being in a marriage together is sleeping in the same bed together. That's it. So Shaquille is talking about some, you never know what the Lord might bring, what the Lord might do. I said, don't fix it, Jesus. Hell no. Leave him alone, Jesus. Don't, don't do it for him. Okay. Don't, don't make anything happen. I know you can turn, you turn uh, uh, miracles and wine into wine Wednesday, but don't do it for him. Okay. Nicole and Chris, she got a lease. They got a lease. About damn time. Now, Chris is like, we good. I got a lease. We moving in. Everybody good. You good. She was like, well, I'm happy that we're going to be living together. But I said, what the hell now, kid? What the hell now, Nicole? Chris got a place. What the hell now? Nicole says, oh. How are we going to do the bills? All that talk about finding a place and you didn't have a conversation about how y'all going to do the bills. You don't know if you're going to split the bills like Gabrielle Union and do way, way 50, 50. She was like, I think that we should get a joint account. And he was like, I think I should cash app your ass. <laughs> What's your cash app? <laughs> I'm going to cash app you my portion every month. And she was like, mm, I think we should get an account. But you know what? 
I'm not going to ruin this because we're finally moving in together with all the dogs and we're looking like a marriage. So I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to let him get tired of cash apping me. Uh, he won't. So in this final scene, all the couples, including uh, Dominique and McKinley, join everyone. Okay. As they always do, they talk about who's staying together, what's going on with everyone. Okay. Um, Shaquille, I am, I am very confused. I think Shaquille thinks that he can double back, that he can go look back at it, look back at it. I think he thinks that if he reach out enough, they can rekindle some things once he done with school or some shit. I don't know what Shaquille is thinking, but Shaquille then makes a statement. Because in one, one, in one part, you know, he's saying, oh, you know, you never know what the Lord, what, what might happen. But then on one side, another side, he's saying, well, you know what? I just don't think that we were soulmates. And you want, you want Kirsten back saying that shit? Oh, okay. So then Jasmine says, well, let me ask you, um, Shaquille and Kirsten, this, um, is the door open or is, um, can you, you know, is the door still open or is it fully closed shut? Um, Shaquille is talking like the door is still cracked and there's a possibility. Kirsten says, hell no. Kirsten says, no, the door is shut. The door is shut and I won't be calling you, boo-boo. Please don't call me, boo-boo. We need to move on. I'm not what you want. And I wish you the best, punk and poo. Shaquille then says, I don't know what can happen, but I, I really believe Kirsten is going to find her Prince Charming. No! Nah, y'all both gonna find y'all Prince Charming. Trust me, the tease that you giving off in this in this final decision, this episode, y'all both gonna find your prince. Okay, not just her boo, you too. Because uh 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 uh, I'm sorry, y'all don't get in my comment section talking about them. Why do people? Why you still calling him gay? As Destiny's Child says, the writings are on the wall. You guys, that was the final decision. Episode 21. I am still here. Okay. Please, if you enjoyed the content and if you enjoyed my review, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I enjoyed reviewing this show. I gave it my very best. I hope that you enjoyed it this season. Next week, they're going to be back again. They dragging, y'all, they're, they're dragging this out. And as long as they're dragging this out, I am here for it, okay? Yes, so I'll see you guys next week. Thank you again for watching. Please leave your comments below on what did you think about Shaquille's response to Kirsten in the marriage and what do y'all think is gonna happen next week? Whew. Good God. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. And my name is Carla. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.